If you watched part one, you know this is where we left off. Time for a refreshment break on a hot afternoon. The Adder Room doubles the footprint of the Mini Mate and makes certainly a, a nice storage area for all the extra stuff that people like me seem to carry. This is not the factory one that is available these days. It has windows and a much better door than this. But this is what I've got. I am working on a on a new one that I'm making myself. I'm about halfway there. I really have got to get back to work on that project. Anyway, it gets tied to the tent itself. And then I just peg so down. That is the, uh, the main setup. And I've, uh, I haven't rushed this at all. Ah. The outer room, this does not have any windows in it, so the, the one I'm looking at making will have some windows in it. It's small. It's really only um, uh, 7 feet by 5. 6 feet by 5? 7 feet by 5. And, uh, you know, inside it's compact. But, uh, man, it does the job. Even though the sun's almost down, uh, on the ride up, we've got the the batteries actually at a level of 12.8 right now. Um, we are producing a little bit of a charge. Now, once the sun goes down, I've used that a bit. That's going to drop down to 12.6, 12.5, pretty quick, and that's a good, healthy place for it to sit. And we'll see if we can keep it close to that overnight, even with what we're going to charge on it. Um, so we'll set up the bed area later. Uh, we may set up uh, the table later to work on. Uh, but yeah, and right now I've just got underneath the uh, underneath the bed area. I've got the the adder room tote because I'm not going to need that anymore. Uh, I will put the air mattress tote underneath there as well. But we're going to do something a little different out here. So that's going to be one of our next things that we're going to do. And I've pegged down the skirt and the outer room all the way around. That roof's a little wrinkly except for at the very top where I put in that extra rod. Um, but if I put another guy wire in, I could probably yeah get some of that out. Uh, We'll see. Maybe I'll make up another one of those uh, rods to put down at the, the very corner here. I've got enough uh, old tent pegs, or tent, uh, tent thingies, tent poles to do that. Uh, but yeah. So once again, we're using a bit of charcoal so we can get some fast coals going quicker than we would if we were just using the wood. The potato takes a long time to cook. Count on it being there about 45 minutes and you keep wanting to flip that. But then it's time to, to get my mushrooms and, and onions on the go and throw in my little secret ingredient, that spicy stir-fry oil. Uh, a little bit of Mrs. Dash. A half hour after I got the potato on, I get the uh, mushrooms and onions on. And 10 minutes later, on goes the steak. I like mine kind of rare. Maybe takes seven minutes, maybe. Pretty darn hot. 
it's dark by the time I actually get some water heated up and and do the dishes yep I do carry the kitchen sink I get those dishes done, rinsed and dried, and I uh, do get a little bit more wood on the fire, but I think I'd really better get that bed made up before I uh, partake of much bourbon. I'm kind of tired tonight. I have two of my LED lighting strips on right now, both inside the Mini Mate. And uh, the one out in the outer room, I haven't got on at the moment. Okay, it's close quarters. Okay. I don't think we need the electric blanket tonight. both sleeping bags and I think I'm going to use the liner which will be more than enough more than enough on. We dropped down to 12.5. 12.5 on the, uh, the battery. <coughs> My uh, bed is 38 inches wide. And that's a uh, Standard mattress. That lining makes all the difference in the world. Explained before, <clears throat> my mattress is about four inches too short. So my feet stick over. So I needed something that was going to uh, it was going to fill in that gap.
Okay. And that fits very nicely in that hole that's left down there. That's all I need for a pillow. Now tonight, I'm going to try to just sleep with... This... Sleeping bag. And the other one open on top of me. If I wake halfway up during the night, I can always... Always throw something else on. Okay, because I didn't shower, when I get in tonight, I'm actually going to use this sleeping bag liner. Now, the only time I use it is when I've uh, not had a chance to shower. And that will actually give me an extra layer of warmth. So we'll uh, get that into the sleeping bag and snuggle into that later. It's not a huge space, but by golly, it's enough. It's enough. And I've still got enough to uh, stand there and get my pants on or off. I spent the next 45 minutes just relaxing in front of the fire having a couple of glasses of bourbon and looking at the stars. End of a great day. All right, it got us all zipped up. Uh, it's 21 degrees inside the tent, 19 degrees outside. Uh, it's, it's expected to go down to about 14 tonight here, I think. Anyway, I've got... Uh, I'm in the liner because of uh, the fact I didn't go shower. Uh, eight late. And uh, I'm in one sleeping bag. And I've got the other one on top of me. I think I'm probably going to be quite comfy. I do have another blanket if I need it. I've got a pillow. And, oh. and anyway, cheers all. So this is Big Falls in uh, Sir Richard Squire's Memorial Provincial Park, which was the first park that was uh, designated in Newfoundland. Very famous for its uh, salmon fishing and salmon uh, leaping going up the falls. We're not at the right time of year for that. Uh, that's, that's June, July, and here we are almost the middle of August. There's hardly anyone in the park. It's Thursday night, hardly anyone here. I'm going to stay tomorrow night as well because some things I want to work out and do. Um, had a good night so far. And, uh, and anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to getting a good, good night's sleep, and we'll uh, see you in the morning. Um, and tomorrow we're going to spend some time, fuel things around the Mini Mate, um, 
and certainly we're going to spend some time down around the falls. Uh, so uh, looking forward to that and just relaxing. I really, really needed to get out. It, uh, I'm waiting for bike parts and uh, that's, you got to do that with a lot of patience. Um, but I needed to get out and just uh, get a, a good night's camping in, a couple nights camping in, and just just relax. Uh, so, so yep. Uh, so we uh, not setting any freaking alarms, and we'll see you in the morning. See you shortly with part three of Richard Squires Memorial Park.